So a brief history of the Kingdom Cup. Now, the Kingdom Cup was never really intended to be for the winner of the Kingdom Con Guild Ball Tournament. Originally, the winner of that tournament won a customized Guild Ball mat. And uh, we awarded the Kingdom Cup, which was a plastic Kingdom Con drinking cup, to uh, one of the unlucky participants that day. Well, let's just say didn't fare as well as they wanted to during the tournament. So we would hand them a cup with a little taped apology on it for their uh, their misfortune and invited them to have a drink. And that was the or the origin of the Kingdom Cup. And it has existed in several different forms since then. Um, the There was actually the Pip Cup, which was a printed plastic cup uh, that uh, was actually part of another venue tournament that really just never panned out. And then, um, you know, throughout uh, my years of hosting Guild Ball tournaments, I would give intermediate cups leading up to one final uh, cup at the end of our, our, our season out here in uh, Southern California. Um, in fact, uh, my favorite cup for me is the Precursor Cup. Uh, which was a tournament that we would host a month before the Kingdom Cup uh, to get everybody ready. And one year I accidentally won it, and I had an awesome Precursor Cup. Uh, this was not intentional. I actually I just accidentally won the tournament, and it's a, a copper tankard that I still have to this day, and I absolutely love it. And I, I bring the Precursor. It's really the one and only Precursor Cup. Uh, and I bring that to all of the Kingdom Cup finals or fulmination as it's known uh, this year. But some of the most notable Kingdom Cups were in the final years of Kingdom Con. Um, the final Kingdom Cup actually awarded at Kingdom Con was the Sterling Cup. This is a one of the only brand new uh, pewter uh, cups that was won by Andrew Jones in uh, a tournament that was really a statement about our presence in West Coast, Coast Guild Ball. Uh, we had outpaced the West, uh, the West Coast Regional uh, Guild Ball Championship with the Kingdom Cup, and uh, Andrew Jones winning it that year was really exciting. Some of the best games I've ever seen. We also have the Black Cup, which was awesome and very fitting for 2020. It was a black brass uh, tankard from Spain. Uh, this was a great cup because we were all playing in the middle of a pandemic. Right, it's almost like uh, uh, end end game type uh, scenario here. Uh, really, really exciting tournament again. Intense games, um, beautiful cup uh, won by uh, Kevin Alcantara, one of our best players. Uh, exciting year for him to win, and uh, just a great overall performance there to win the the twenty twenty uh, the Black Cup. So I'm really excited about this year, um, which is unofficially the Naja Cup which I absolutely love. This is a, a copper tankard uh, that, uh, again, has our SoCal Guild Ball logo on it and uh, has Naja there as the handle. So uh, that's this year's cup, and I'm really excited to give it away. We're going to have uh, some folks flying in for this one. This is going to be an interesting tournament. This is, this is uh, where, yes, we are still in the pandemic, but, uh, you know, things are starting to look a little bit better for travel wise. So we're hopefully going to see some more folks coming down and I'm just excited to carry on the tradition. Um, yeah, I, colloquially it will always be the kingdom cup, but, uh, it, we're moving kingdom con into fulmination, which is going to be an annual event here in Southern California. So I would invite everybody to come down, uh, whether or not you play guild ball and just enjoy fulmination. I, I'm going to try to cover some of that on uh, this YouTube channel, maybe my Twitch channel as well. But um, yeah, just really excited. Uh, this time of year is always great. Uh, and winning this cup is, is going to be special. It's a different cup every time. So this year is the Naja Cup coming from Thailand. Uh, good luck to all of our participants and uh, hope you guys end up watching.